The National Party's long-time campaign strategist is retiring from politics. Senior List MP Stephen Joyce says he's reconsidered his position since the party's change in leadership. The former finance minister recently lost out to Simon Bridges in his bid to take over from Bill English. Here's our political reporter, Craig McCulloch. He's been called Mr Fixit, the super minister, even Dildo Baggins. Whatever you call him, Stephen Joyce is now hanging up the towel. The whole thing has been an absolute blast and an absolute privilege to be blunt. And yep, you have good days and bad days and there's tough days. But a day that you're, that you're serving your fellow New Zealanders is actually a pretty cool thing. It's, it is hard to walk away from. Lately, though, it's been more bad days than good. His campaign mastery fell short last year. He couldn't convince Winston Peters to anoint National to form a government. More recently, he failed in his bid to take charge of the National Party. Then the victor, Simon Bridges, wouldn't let him keep the plum finance portfolio. Mr Joyce, though, says he's not throwing his toys out of the cot. I think if I was in a petulant mood, I'd probably go to the back benches, grow a beard and just sit there fuming for a while. Um, and that's sort of the, the time-honoured way in which you do that thing in this parliament. That's not my approach. Many may know Mr Joyce more for this, a chance encounter with a flying sex toy and the subsequent media coverage abroad. Is this what you wanted, Stephen Joyce? I've had to strive very hard to get that international profile and obviously that incident at Waitangi that shall not be named um, is one of the ways in which I've done that. Jokes aside, few MPs can claim a political trajectory as steep as his. Mr Joyce entered Parliament in 2008 and was catapulted straight into the kitchen cabinet. In his time, he oversaw major portfolios, transport, economic development and finally in 2016, finance. He was tight with Sir John Key and Bill English and earned a reputation as the fix-it man called in to deal with tricky issues like Novapay. It wasn't in good shape and it was a pretty tough few months uh, getting it to a position where it was able to do the job it was set up to do. He was the party's campaign strategist too and helped guide the party to electoral victory three times, 2008, 2011 and 2014. However, he stumbled in a 2015 by-election when, in a shock result, National lost its hold on Northland to none other than Winston Peters. I mean, you could do some things differently again, but I think it would have been very hard to win that by-election. Mr Peters doesn't appear to have forgotten. Asked for his thoughts on Mr Joyce's departure, he had this to say. The fact is, Stephen Joyce, with the greatest respect, was a black ops man in politics. We all know that. The senior National MP, Jerry Brownlee, had some kinder words. He has a huge brain. He's had a big, big influence on the National Party for the last 15 years, and uh, we all certainly miss him. What's now then for Mr Joyce? There's that old chestnut. He wants to spend more time with his family and eventually re-enter the commercial world. The final word then to him, asked to sum up his political career. Maybe I'd just say that I'd like to get on and get things done. Cheers. Atu iti fari parimata mo te hōtaka o te ahiahi ko Craig McCulloch